From the Living on a Dime studio. From the Living on a Dime studios. Yes. In Mead, Colorado. In Mead, Colorado. <coughs> All right, today. Where we found in Idaho. <laughs> what did we find in Idaho? The town that, oh, you yeah. would, that would have the name that you would appreciate. Ooh, you smell good. Thank you. Just for you, my love. Uh, we are making homemade chicken <gasps> bake today. If Becky. our shows are too long, please just watch the first portion where I make the recipe and you can skip all the rest. Juju! Um, <clears throat> Is that Juju from have... Atlanta? Or from Georgia? No way. Seriously? I don't know. I'm just asking. The one we met at the Ritz? I'm just asking. I, I was going to send her my soap. It might not be. It could be a different oh. Juju. Um, I have her address. I was going to send her my soap. Um, we... Have our Living on a Dime extravaganza on sale. Did we pick an end date for that? No. You just tell me put it on and I do. <laughs> Monday. Your wish is my command, darling. <laughs> hey, pen left, camera Monday. One. Our Living on a Dime extravaganza is going off sale. So it's half price. 75 cents approximately per book. There's 12 books in the Monday. in the e ebook e set. Love it, love it, love it. So, oh, we're all matchy matchy. Yay. Uh, How did that happen? Not funny. Okay, homemade chicken and bake. Here we go. Whoa, hold so, on a second. You gonna wait for everybody to join us? No. There's only 97 people watching. Hold up. No, no. Well, well everybody's yelling at me that I take too long to get started. Well, that's the 97 people that just joined. For some reason, I can only see one comment at a time on Facebook. Hit this. For some reason, what? this is live. Oh, no. Nope. I can't see it. Well, this thing is in the way here, among other things. Hmm. Well, oh, well. Can you reload? I, this is the third time I'm reloading. Oh. Hey there. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, okay. Hello, Mother. How is Daryl doing? Sherry, how is Daryl doing? Yay, he's home! Oh. Yay, Daryl! Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Did, he, oh. did he need the... I think he got a pacemaker. Yeah, he's alive. So All right, Donna so. says, hello, Mike and Tara. I love my cookbook. Thank you. Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 304. You can see my copy that I've been using since 2011 is a little bit worn. Just a little bit. Maybe I should get a new copy. You know where I can get a new copy? Amazon for $3,000! <laughs> Not really. All right, livingonadime.com, dining, or dining on a dime cookbook. Click on the store. You don't have to get it at Amazon for three thousand dollars. Amazon is a waste. Do not. Mike is gonna have a hard time with these. One What's comment that? at a time. Well. Uh, okay. Did, did you click that little arrow, and the arrow won't go away? <laughs> no, nothing's working. <laughs> All right. Okay, Mike's been having a great day overall. Actually, it's been good. You know why your day's so bad? Because you were helping that lady. It's not bad. It's good. Well, that's not what you were telling me earlier, but... No, I just said I was behind. I see. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Homemade shake and bake. Now, I'm making a quarter of this recipe because I didn't have any saltines. All I had was these crackers left. And this is a great use. Look at these crackers. See how somebody dropped... The box of crackers and they got all smushed. That wasn't me. <laughs> no, yeah, it wasn't not me. me. Didn't do it again. I know. Mm -hmm. Seriously, wasn't okay. Me so what you do is just leave them in the bag like this. Save these wax paper bags, guys, from <coughs> from <coughs> your cereal boxes. Just fold them in half. Store them in a file folder just on the side of your cabinet like that. Okay, just store them in there. Then when you need to pound chicken or crush crackers or anything like that, these are heavier than pot, than the Ziploc bags. And these work a lot better, okay? So, okay, you can smash it all up. Okay, so, getting it all oh, crushed. Oh, I yeah, sorry. Sorry guys, I'm a little slightly behind on them because Facebook <laughs> is only showing me one person's comment at a time. So, this recipe is on page 304 in Dining on Dime Cookbook. You can go to our website. And I've got, I don't know, how many recipes did I get today? Like six or seven recipes? Something, Something like, like that. that. To use homemade shake and bake, okay? 
So, you know, see how wonderful this works and it doesn't break through. That's what I love about the cereal bags. Okay. Oh, see, isn't that lovely? Okay, so now, let me see how much I have left. Now, you could use breadcrumbs if you don't have, um, can you need me to stay down? Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. Ugh. You can use breadcrumbs if you don't, yeah, you can go back down. You can use breadcrumbs that you crush up or whiz up in the blender, that kind of thing. What? I don't know why whiz up sounded funny to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just... Okay. Okay, Mike's feeling so, silly. And I'm adding the crumbs and my flour and now I'm putting in my salt you guys like my great grandma's salt shaker this thing is probably getting close to 100 years old now maybe not that old but I don't know probably 70 all right and then Mike really likes garlic so I'm gonna double the garlic for this one Woohoo! Because Mike's a garlic kind of guy. Of course, I won't be eating this since I'm gluten free. Onion powder. I have a gluten free recipe on the website, also, if you want. And then um, you, if you're like me and you need to be gluten free, then. Sacred Wonders wants to know if you're starting the No Friday show this week. Yes, we are starting the No Friday show this week. We'll talk about that a little bit more in just a second. Okay. Put all my stuff up because I'm going to make soap later and save me a little bit of hassle here. Okay. So then, oh, and then my sugar. Um, dear, I don't know. Maybe your mom or somebody can watch it, but I can't do anything with the comments on yeah. Facebook. Okay, mom. And Dave says he can't either. Mike and Dave are stuck on Facebook. Mom, Heidi, anybody who's on Facebook, if you could. We can't see any comments over there. Can you send her all the links? I, I send them to your mom. Okay. You send them mom, to Heidi? Mike, send you all the links. Yeah, send them to Heidi just in case she's on there. Okay, so I got everything mixed up here. Whoops, no, my paprika had lumps in it for some reason, so I gotta break up my paprika lumps. Okay, there we go. And then my vegetable oil. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Now. Yeah, it's not loading for me. I can't see the live stream on Facebook. Okay. Uh, Ellen so, says yes, the pacemaker went smoothly. So, yay. yay. So glad. We love you, Daryl, my man. <laughs> Finally get a good soapbox maker and can't lose them yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, you need to be to take pictures, didn't you? Yeah, we're going to take pictures after the show. Okay. So, there's your homemade shake and bake all mixed up. So what you do is you keep your same waxed paper here. And what you do is you put in however much shake and bake you need. Now, if you're doing four pieces, you need about a quarter of a cup of shake and bake per piece of chicken, okay? like a whole chicken breast. If you're using chicken tenders, then for two to three chicken tenders. Okay. Karen says, right. hi everyone, I made the shake and bake earlier this week and it's better than the store bought. It's really yummy. So. I'm, I'm resharing the recipe in the comments and if you can't find it here, uh, it's in our show notes at livingonadime.com. Click on show notes. Okay, so. Susan says you make everything look so easy. Uh, thank you. All right, so then you put your chicken in and you just shake it up. Well, my bag's a little small for three pieces. Hold on. Wait, what is this? 
shake and bake? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that sounds okay. so weird. Shake so you bake. just shake it like this, and then you bake it. I have my pan here with a little bit of oil. I I uh, pour it on here before I put my oil up. Okay. So then, just set one there, one there. Oh, Lisa another says, couple pieces in. Hi, new son here ordered the cookbook and box ebook bundle for ten bucks. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lisa. I think you're gonna love it. That's our extravaganza that's on sale. If you're just joining us, it's only ten dollars for twelve ebooks. A great stinking deal. Michael oh. hates it when I say that, but <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's amusing. So Alright. Here we go. <laughs> Mike lost his brain. <laughs> Mike's going to go to the show notes to get the extravaganza deal note because I can't find it. <laughs> Yay. All right. So everybody's gone but Dave and Mike and Jack. So I'm only making this for them because I can't eat it. That's going to okay. be delicious. Now, you can't really can't reuse shake it shake and bake what you could do is immediately throw it into the freezer and it would probably be okay but really it's not a good thing to do that now i added a little extra than i should have because um i didn't have my measuring cup to measure but or not my right measuring cup oh okay well i had my measuring cup and i didn't see it sitting right here <laughs> So anyway, so you can just throw this whole thing away then. I hate to usually throw that much away, but now it's all right. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is Mike loves Brussels sprouts. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Wait a minute. Hold on. Did I do? Here we go. Just in case you guys are wondering, it's a brand new trash sack that's in there, so don't give me no lip. All right. I'm going to coat... She will smack talk you if you get a lip. I'm going to coat the Brussels sprouts in this. You can give me a lip if you want. I can give you a lip if you want? Yep. You like it <laughs> when I give you some lip? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, <laughs> our reading material. <laughs> That's Dave's thing. You haven't said that in a while, Dave. What's you matter? rated our material. Man, that smells good. So you just made the mix and now you're using the mix. Yep. Okay, so then I'm just gonna put my Brussels sprouts on the side here. And it would help if I turned on the oven, I guess. I'm gonna turn on the oven and voila. Okay, now let me rinse the shake and bake off my hand. Now, here's how I do freezer cooking, or I should say cook ahead. Um, so what I do is when I've thawed a thing of chicken like this, I will go ahead and get it all ready for the next meal. So like for this one, I'm going to grill it. So I'm going to put my pieces of chicken in here. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just, I think I'm just going to grill two meals worth. Okay. What recipe did we make the other day? And then we could have leftovers. I have no idea. Okay, so I just have my pre-made barbecue seasoning here. We have, um, I don't want to send your brain into overload there, but can you go get the homemade seasonings? I forgot I was going to use that. Yes. Okay, if um, you're using that much, just pop off the cap thing. My homemade <laughs> barbecue <laughs> seasoning and a little bit of oil. I'm not eating that. Uh, somebody was asking about your kitchen boa. Uh, I'm loving it. I am pasting a link in where you I can get know. it. And also, what about I think it should be on our... Sorry, I didn't get the homemade seasoning yet. Um, I think it should be on our... It's not on our show notes. I'm going to add it to our show notes right now. And then I will go get the homemade seasoning. Okay. should be in our Amazon store. Did you add it to the Amazon store? I okay, didn't. so now I have two, oh, two meals worth of chicken ready, and today's Wednesday, so what I'll probably do is grill it uh, tomorrow and Friday, tomorrow and Friday or tomorrow and Saturday, 
then oh I forgot the milk. Then so I don't have to um, cook dinner. Be done with it, okay? All right, so. <coughs> <laughs> okay, uh, homemade seasonings, right. All right, so then if you're wondering what I'm gonna, oops, I'm sorry. If, I'm, if you're wondering what I'm gonna serve this with, what I'm gonna do is I'm waiting with bated breath to find out. <laughs> I'm going to cut up this cabbage and we're going to have like a savory coleslaw with oil and vinegar. And then just for Dave, I bought Dave, Dad. <gasps> a pineapple? Because we've been watching Psycho. Who knows what? Ah! Oh, Dad, I will. You he gave it away. I didn't know you were going to do that. Who knows what movie the or what show the pineapples from? Sorry. Why in the world would you possibly do that? <laughs> I didn't Sorry. know that mom was mom didn't say she was gonna have. So that we've been watching person. Psych and trying to find the pineapple in every episode. And um, well, we have successfully found the pineapple in every episode for the past. Yep. Season or two. Okay, so can you save money using homemade shake and bake? Yes, you can. You guys saw, it literally took me like two minutes to mix that up. And I probably saved, I don't know, how much is shake and bake now? Does anybody know? I have no idea. What, $1.50 maybe? Is that all? So, yeah, but when you take $1.50. How much 50, do you get for that compared to? This is double the amount. So when you take $1.50 and you take the two minutes it took to mix it up, <laughs> that's like, what, $35 an hour. Give yourself some credit here. Hope says, oh my goodness, Tara, I was watching on a small screen and that cabbage looked like the biggest onion I've ever seen. <laughs> she said I had to put my stick Your family on. said SpongeBob, and that is true. Pineapple is SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, well, Deanna funny. says, I love Psych, never knew about the pineapple. I guess I'll have to check out Netflix. Yep. I don't think they're on Netflix now. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. We canceled our Netflix. Um, okay, so then I'm just going to chop this up really well. And put it in a bowl. Brenda says, good morning from Kingsthorpe, Australia. Ooh, Australia. Wow. <laughs> they were saying it looked like you were getting a frustration that when you were banging the crackers. Uh, no. Okay, there we go. So I just, I prefer shredded cabbage and lettuce, but I don't like shredding it myself. So I just try to cut it as small as I can and just do it that way. Cigar Box, Toronto, Canada saying hi, game. Well, hello. Sacred Wonders is asking if we're starting a no Friday show this week. Yes, we are. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so now put all this in. Now we're not eating all this for dinner. I'm just getting it made up for several days and then I eat on this kind of stuff for lunch. And uh, so then I have me a lunch. Okay, so there's that. Then Jamie says you have to sing to her now if you're not going to be here Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Okay, we'll sing to Jamie. Dun, dun, dun. It's my friend Jamie's birthday this Saturday. You guys all know Jamie. She's on here all the time. Bridgetta wants to know when is Jill going to do a show? <laughs> um, she will do a show a week from... Two weeks from last Monday. So in 10 days, she'll do a show because we're going to be in Wichita with her. No. Helping my brother move. We're going to be there on the 25th, I know, but she, right? Yeah, but she said when's the show. 
Okay, Doing so. This is greetings everyone from oh, Milan, yeah. Italy. Wow, wow, Italy. Glad you're here, Diana. But if we leave the 24th and get there on the 25th, then the 25th is a Friday and we could do the show. We're not doing Friday shows anymore. But we could do it. Okay, so I have my oil <laughs> and my seasoned salt. And then, sorry guys, I just did not have room for everything. And then my vinegar. Ooh. I put my vinegar in an old ketchup bottle. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I squirt the thing? Vinegar. And that way it is right here in my pantry, like if I run, or in my baking station, so that if I run out, I don't have to go over to my pantry on the other side of the kitchen. And then I can just use it in my baking when I need to. Okay. And let's test. Oh, your wife's a good cop. No. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm, so then, <coughs> I'm going to cut up my pineapple, and that's going to be our dinner. So, anyway. Let me turn this up. I didn't turn up my oven. That is how you make homemade shake and bake on page 304 in Dining Eye Dime Cookbook. While we're chatting, I am going to um, make some soap. Okay, I have to say. <clears throat> Rhonda says shake and bake is $275 at Walmart. $275? How much do you get? Like at a cup, Kroger's, maybe? At Kroger's, it's three thirty-nine. Three thirty-nine for shake and bake. I don't know how much you get. Are you kidding that, me? That's... Oh my goodness! You can make this for like about fifty cents. Seriously, people, don't buy shake and bake anymore. I can't believe that. That's like sixty bucks an hour you earn by making your own homemade shake and bake. See, you got to figure it that way. If you figure it by how many hours you earn making some of this stuff, then you realize it's really worth making it. Good grief. Where have I? Oh, well, I've never bought Shake and Bake, so. <gasps> Whoa. Dorothy says, love psych, but canceled our cable. Savings, $1,440. Holy moly. Yeah, a lot of people pay a lot for cable. So one of our viewers sent me this um, dish, this calendar in the mail, and she said, use it as a dish towel. It uh, actually dries. It does? You guys want to see? You want to see? Okay, point down, Dave. Point down. Here we go. Well, <clears throat> so I washed it, okay? So now, oh, oops, no. I spilled some water. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Grab my towel and look at this. You can't really see the reflection. Oh, you can't water. see the reflection? No. Okay, well, Mike will but, be the testifying. Well, Hold Paula on. Was asking, Hold what on. You got to testify? Making? What? Look, it actually dries. Oh, yes. It's an old linen. It's mostly dry. <laughs> well, look over here. It's not bad. It's drying. Well, it's drier than the other towel. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Try the linen calendars, guys, and see. It gets it way drier than our old towels ever used to. So, there you go. There's a little tip for you. All right, what was the Bridget question? says, is that an apron scarf tar? I like your trend-setting ways. It is. And what I like about it is I keep losing my towels. Oh, did you sing Jamie her birthday song yet? Not yet. I keep losing my towels, and so my towels are right here, which I love. So, <clears throat> all right, let me put my oils in the microwave real quick here. If you're on Facebook, sorry, I'm, I know Jill's seen your comments and hopefully replying to them. I usually grab them and reply to them afterwards, but I can't see. Mike did not look impressed by the calendar towel. Mike is, Mike is always doing the tech stuff and the comments aren't working for me on Facebook. So Mike is kind of like, how do I fix this? Okay, Sharon says, it's we... hard to soar like an eagle when you work with turkeys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know okay. what she's talking about. We are saying to my very good friend, Jamie, who's on the show. Love you, Jamie. 
Mm -hmm. I got a little nifty gifty for you too that Mike's gonna drop by your doorstep, so. Woohoo! All right. Anyway, and yeah. Happy birthday. You ready? Yep. Go. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Jamie. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Jamie, we love you. Ooh, the bestest friend ever who always lets me borrow her soaping supplies. Yay. Jill says, hi, how are you from Happy Wisconsin? Happy birthday, Jamie. We're good, thanks. Ginny, I always have a towel on my shoulder when I'm in the kitchen. Well, for me, it always falls off, so I don't know. Is, I, your, is so, your neck phobia getting in the way of it? Yeah, I am having a problem with my neck phobia, I have to admit. So my uncle, when I was little, I don't know, I was probably like five or six, would hold me and tickle me with his beard. And I hated it. So now I hate anything touching my neck. But here's the problem. If I tie it on my waist, I think it's, well, no, that might work. Yeah, that might work if I tie it around my waist. But then I thought, well, I could tie it up here. I don't know, is that attractive? It's cute, but it looks like a... <laughs> <laughs> can't win for losing, can I? Okay, I'm going to share. You up for that some one. people were asking about that, calling it a variety of different f stole or a kitchen towel or whatever. I'm sharing the it's link. It's called a kitchen boa. I'm sharing the link. And they have tons and tons of colors. Where you but, can get it. Okay. So, yeah, that's what it's called a kitchen boa. All right, so I'm making okay. unicorn soap. So, do you want to answer Again. a few questions? And we're going to, while I'm making the unicorn soap, we're going to answer questions and uh, talk about our big announcement and a few other things. Oh, the <laughs> fact that we're... <clears throat> to <clears throat> what? what? The big announcement's not a secret, right? No. Okay. Because um, oh, some people are saying, oh, well, hope, hope you feel... Well, a lot of people are asking how you're feeling because they said you didn't look like you're feeling at all good on the video the other day. And they're asking how you're doing. She has no response to that. I have to say, I hate that question. Everyone asks you that question, and when you say, oh, hi, how are you? You don't want to sit there and say, well, you know, I'm really feeling... I, feel well, like... I won't use those words. I'm really <laughs> feeling poopy today. <laughs> oh, you're going <laughs> to... But you don't want to tell that to everybody. So, not feeling that great, to be perfectly honest. Found a cabin <gasps> in Idaho with no electricity... I think we should go. He doesn't want to be without a shower for a month. And I'm like, dude. A month? You said two weeks yesterday. Well, I'm thinking we it? need a month. So we're, this is, we were talking about a, a, a little getaway to recover in the summer. But Tara wants to go to an off-grid place with no toilet and no water. You have to haul your water in from somewhere. And I was thinking, that doesn't sound very relaxing to me. Although it has no power, so that's awesome. See, uh, it no sounds computers. really relaxing to me. But... You know, okay, I'm rinsing off my lye water here. <laughs> um, to me, to have no power, oh man, I would love it. So there was a little confusion. Emirates got our shows at a different time after this. No. Now, the show will be at the same time at 4.30, mm -hmm. but it will only be Monday and Wednesday, not Friday. Yeah. Jamie says tie the strap, tie the strap on the apron around, the, have the bow tied around the strap on the apron. If you missed the reason why, uh, you, after the show you can go back to our channel, Living on a Dime, and there's a video that says... On YouTube. What does it say? I don't think it was like It that. says, I can't do it. And special announcement, and it explains why. Mm. Does it have a solar shower? I do not know. I don't... Well, it has solar panels, so it's not totally off-grid. I mean, my definition of off-grid is no solar, no nothing. Well, I don't know what the solar is for because there's only lights. Uh, Cheryl, it's BOA, B-O-A, but I keep sharing the link, and if you don't find it, you can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes, and it's in the show notes as well. Okay, so one question that I always, always get all the time. So I'm going to tell you. Well, I my lie. Nice. Where do I get my lie at? I purchase mine from Essential Depot. 
which you can get in the link in the description below. Um, Michael put it in there. Wait, <coughs> what am I sharing? Sorry. My <coughs> lie link for Essential Depot. Where is that? Um, okay, we'll come back later and we'll put it in the description after the show. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I thought I had it on there, but I guess I didn't. All right, so. Man, I went from smelling good dinner to smelling good sweet. I know. Doesn't it smell good? Yep. All right, so now I'm making my unicorn soap. And I forgot to add my sodium lactate. Whoa, whoops, well, I got enough there. There we go. Okay. Get it all mixed in here. Uh, Kristen wants to know when can the unicorn soap be ordered? So here's the deal on the unicorn soaps. I had a batch fail, so now I'm paranoid. So what I'm gonna do is, um, just one second guys, let me get my, measure, measured out here. Okay, so I had a batch fail, and now I'm paranoid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it made up, and then, Tomorrow I'll know if it failed or not, and I will list it tomorrow if it turned out. But so Sheen Bean says, "Can I ask a question about chicken legs? I noticed they look bloody, and my kids won't eat them. What do I do?" And Cigar Box said, "Tell the kids it isn't blood, but it's natural ketchup being released in the chicken." <laughs> That's a good one. They're genetically engineered to produce their own ketchup. But I hate <laughs> ketchup being used. Oh, that's good. Yeah. No, oh, she said it's the bone that looks that way. I know. Unfortunately, they just. I don't do know that. what to tell you to do about that. Can you that. take it off the bone and just give them the meat, or does the meat have it too? I don't know. Good question. Well, the meat usually doesn't, but maybe. I don't know. I mean, sometimes the meat will be a little, little on the pink side, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I have kids that do that kind of stuff too, so I'm not totally sure what to tell you on that. Okay, so let me get my white mixed up first. <gasps> Oops. Oh, well, you need me okay. down. cabbage again I bought ahead and have it in the refrigerator to prepare so for the savory coleslaw I dice it up and I add an oil I like avocado oil but you can use olive or canola oil is just fine a little bit of vinegar garlic onion powder salt <laughs> today because I keep having everybody want pink and purple. Oh, Music so. Matt is asking what are soda crackers? Are they the same as water crackers in New Zealand? Uh, they're saltines, so... They're... I, yeah. Probably water crackers. That sounds like it would be something, but what they are is... Uh, they're probably like a water cracker, yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't know in New Zealand what you guys have, so I'm not totally sure. Okay, so I'm pouring in my little waters. Okay. 
Um, okay, so thank you everyone for all of your well wishes and understanding about our show announcement. Um, for the few people that left comments about certain things that I need to do, let me just say that Mike and my children do a lot of housework. Mike vacuums all the time. The kids vacuum all the time. Mike does dishes all the time. My reference to me having a pile of laundry was my laundry, not my children's laundry, except for Jack's. It was me and Jack and Mike's laundry. And it was extra stuff that I was trying to deep clean. So, for those of you who don't think that my family does anything, they actually do do quite a few chores. And if it's your, if it's your way to tell people everything they're doing wrong, you might consider that, be, you know, you see us three to four and a half hours a week right now, and that's not and by any means our whole lives. Exactly. So. But, of course, most people don't say that. No. But, but, that's but just... I just wanted to clarify that my family is not a bunch of slobs. Well, okay, Are my we? family is a bunch of slobs, but <laughs> not really. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, my um, family helps out with the chores. So, for those of you who felt the need to correct the way we're living. Smack talk my mother. <laughs> Let me just say that they do Wrong. help out. So, oh, yeah. yes. Um, and all the rest of you who are very kind and thoughtful, thank you. Um, yeah. So, anyway. Oh, man, I miss measured. Sorry. Let me know when you are. Go ahead. Ah, uh, poo, man. Suburbia to Singapore says it's often the mom who carries the emotional workload of the house, though. Is that true? Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean. I'm not disagreeing. That's true. Just asking. I agree with that. And I would also say that I'm a mom. I mean. Who do they come to when they want a snack? Mom. Who do they come to when they're fighting? Mom. So, you know, that's just the way it is if you're a mother. So, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So let me get... I can't believe I mismeasured again. I keep tweaking this recipe trying to make sure... Well, maybe I don't have 24 of these little suckers. Do I have, how many of these do I have on here? Let me count. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> Maybe I thought I had 24 and I don't. Uh, Holly wants to know what fragrance is the unicorn soap. This is Tutti Frutti. Oh, it smells so good. Doesn't that smell good? It does, it smells really good. Okay. It does tell it smell fruity. I didn't know what Tutti Frutti was. Well, now you know. The Tutti of the Fruity. Okay, <laughs> so how many do I have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, yeah. I think okay. the chocolate discussions are funny. Angela says now I need a chocolate after such a lovely meal, but your mom and Denise are always saying how much they need chocolate and they want to share their chocolate. <laughs> Kirsten says being a mom and being chronically ill is incredibly hard. Yes. Yes. But and you have no idea what pain is until you have CFS. Yeah. And fibromyalgia. At the same time. Oh, and for all the people. <laughs> okay. I totally Bro? support you, Tara, just so you know that Galena says that. I'm bringing this in before you say anything. For all the people who think I'm frowning all the time, I am frowning all the time. But the reason why I'm frowning is because I have fibromyalgia. My brain never shuts off so that I am in pain 24 hours a day. And even after living with it for 30 years, you never get used to it, okay? So if I'm frowning, it's not because I'm always angry or mad. It's probably because my head feels like it's about to explode off my shoulders into a million pieces. Imagine having a headache for 30 years. I have literally had a headache for 30 years. 
never gone away except for one time when I had Jeez. an epidural with David, I felt like a brand new woman. But they told me that I can't be have an epidural for the rest of my life. So I just have to suck it up and deal with it. So anyway, yeah. Um, what's funny, is, but don't feel bad if, you, if you've been confused about that because even now I still struggle sometimes thinking, what, are you mad about something? Well, usually I'm mad at you about something, but oh, that's different. <laughs> so I just need to assume that if you're frowning that you're mad. No. But okay. That's why I see. That's why I'm over here because it kind of balances out the. Uh, see, the feng he's shui. He, who's yin and yang? How? Which way is it? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, well Dang. we're yin and yang. Yin so and guys, yang. I found some more orange soaps that I had in stock. Everybody was begging me for more of these. I have eight more in stock, and my raspberry lilac. I had people begging me for more of these. I got the rest of them wrapped and ready to go. So if you guys were wanting those soaps, I have them back in stock. Just a few though. Okay, so let me get my piping going here. Okay, any more questions? Go ahead, dear. Um, sorry, uh, yes, there are questions. I was, <laughs> let's see. Um, somebody must know if you'd rent me out. You must have said something good about me. I heard you say some. Um, cause you do dishes and stuff. Juju's wondering if we can post where the red bowls are from. Do you know where you got these? Walmart. Okay. From Walmart. Yep. So we don't have a link for anything uh -uh. like that. Emirant says soda crackers and saltine crackers are different names for the same food. So they might, could they be called sal saltines where you are? S um, or no, soda crackers? The, um, uh, I don't know about water crackers. I guess I should I look that know. up and see. Um, yeah, Karen says having CFS Fiber and PSA, I'm amazed we do all that we do. A lot of, I'm finding a lot of our viewers have uh, chronic illness that I didn't. I know some do, but some that never say anything do too. And yeah, it's it's kind of rough. Especially one thing I was talking to Amy T today, and uh, I I didn't know. Um, uh, sometimes she struggles with some things, and I. Um, I was thinking, wow, you know, or I wouldn't be able to tell looking at you. It's like, I was thinking the same thing happens with Tara. People say, you don't look sick. And the truth is that she doesn't, she looks sick if you know what you're looking for. Um, but if you find mom on the couch the, laying down and not getting back up for the next two hours, then you know mom's sick. The chronic illness thing is really hard. It, it, and Believe it or not, I was married to Tara for a long time before I really started to have even the slightest clue. And I, I'm sure that I still don't really understand as much as could be understood. But uh, let's see. Okay, so I got new little unicorns we're going to try. Now these are little finger puppets. So we're going to try the finger puppet ones and see how they do. Because everybody was wanting pink and purple. Are they squishy finger puppets? Yes. Because so the other ones are a little harder. Huh. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm just trying a few different ones and we'll see how it goes. Um, oh, so anyway, other things. Um, Faith, Love, and Fitness, do you have any tips when it comes to saving on cell phones? <laughs> I wouldn't get one if you don't, don't need get one. one. <laughs> if you get one, I would get a, the cheapest one you can get away with. Because like yeah. iPhones are really popular, but there, but there are other phones that really work as well as that they're a lot less yeah um and we tend to be mostly low we should do a people. show on that yeah we should test a bunch but one thing i would say is never ever 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 get a contract phone a phone with a contract on it no. because then you're locked in and you can't change and the contracts are generally really expensive and mm -hmm. there's a company that i won't name but it's the number one company cell phone provider in america and if you use a contract through them it's kind of like an apple computer it's it's a really great service but it's really frightfully expensive and i've been trying to figure out a way to use them but it, there's just no way around the price being really high so i we've been using the pay as you go plan from walmart <laughs> um so yeah i would say the least expensive phone you need well and here's the thing guys so i was just talking to um a friend yesterday and she was talking about, well, how do you save on cell phones? And I was like, well, you know, don't have one. 
She's like, well, yeah, but we need to. Well, come to find out, her kids had a cell phone. Guys, if your child is not driving and you live in a mostly decent neighborhood, they do not need a dumb cell phone. You they do not need phone. to be giving your children cell phones, period. I mean, seriously, you just don't. And so stop just giving your kids cell phones for no reason. Um, now, if they live in a really, really sketchy neighborhood or something, and it's a safety issue, that's fine, but get them a track phone. They don't need to be having a cell phone that is a smartphone and all that baloney. Um, so, yeah. We, um... Our kids get cell phones which they, whoops, which they pay for themselves when they're 16 and driving. Or older. And what's funny is they have to be 16 and driving and pay for it with their own money. But when Ellie, our daughter, was turning 16 and she had her driver's license and she got a job, she was thinking about not getting a phone. But in Colorado, the traffic is pretty wicked. And even though she would probably survive without a phone, we thought, man, it would really be nice to be able to make sure that if there was an emergency, she could call us. Because we've had nine car accidents in three and a half years, and only, and seven of them were not our fault. Two of them were, one was a fender bender, and one, um, a child did rear end in the fog. Wasn't messing around, but still, seven of our cars were destroyed by other people because Colorado's just gotten as bad as California, so. Oh, I just was reading a comment I was going to try to copy, but it, still having trouble seeing the Facebook comments. So, oh, dear. Um, so if you're not getting a reply to something on Facebook, I'm sorry. Jill is there keeping an eye on things, and I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, we're going to have dinner in just a minute. So, uh, yeah, so the thing Check I was going to say with Ellie is she... She just, she was saying, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually get a phone. I don't know if I really want a phone. And so I told Tara, well, we don't want to encourage them to have really expensive phones that we pay for. So we were thinking about getting a super cheap flip phone from the Kroger store here with a restricted number of minutes on it so that if she needed, if there was an emergency, she could, but it wouldn't be at all useful for just chit chatting with friends and stuff. Yeah. So, uh oh, um, Cindy says we're frozen on Facebook, but we're not. Try and refresh, Cindy. I'm going to type it in case you can't see that. So, yeah. Um. Um. All right, now. All right. Do you want some other questions? Or are sure. You... Okay. Um, Jane Oops. says, that's one of the things I love about you guys is your sense of humor. Yay. Did we say something funny? Uh, I'm sure we did, but it's been a while since I, I'm looking at comments I grabbed What's earlier. That? You need it back up. Uh, cell phones, cabbage. Jamie says you should take a, a different Jamie says you should take a month break from live streams. Oh, man. Well, we're be... trying to take a vacation, but we can't figure out where to go for a vacation that's not going to break the bank, but that's relaxing, but something that the boys like, I don't know, like a lake or pond or maybe an off-grid cabin in Idaho with hiking trails. Or maybe Missouri. <laughs> so E. Cahill is wondering, are you feeling better off the tea? Um, so the tea, going off the tea has helped the heartburn that I didn't even know that I had actually. And yes, I tried the medicine and it just gave me very, very unpleasant side effects. Um, so I didn't want to deal with that. So. Oh, Denise, I forgot to look for the food of the day chart. I need to go back there. I'll make that note of it. Oh yeah, I was going to look at that too. Um, so the tea has helped with my stomach not being quite as upset. It hasn't helped with all of it, but it's helped with some. Um, so yeah. 
All right, let's see, what am I doing here? So now I am getting my sprinkles. Okay, so first I'm gonna glitter them. Can you see that what, uh, what mom's doing on it? Not super. Deep. Ellen says I run my business from my phone. Well, one well, thing is if you that's different. Yeah, if you need the phone, kind of like with what we were doing, we had contemplated getting a, a slightly better phone than what we have because we shoot a lot of video for the show with it. Yeah, but that's a business expense, and that's totally different from. Um, from just having a phone to you know mess around with or whatever so and in that case you have to see what you need for your business and buy accordingly so and even though tara said um even though tara said it's a business expense it's true but even for the business we don't go out of our way to spend well, no. too much so we'll still look for a, a good a, a good deal on something that's just enough to do what we need. Or maybe yeah. it could be a little bit better than just enough, just so that we don't have any failures in what we're doing. Yeah. But yeah, our son is a pizza delivery driver and his phone was kept phasing in and out and missing calls. And he said, I just can't do this when I'm a pizza driver. So he ended up buying a fancier phone so it was more reliable on the calls. Yeah. Because that his money is dependent on that. Simple Christian living. Oh my, your car insurance must be high. Ours is too. Our young adult drivers are driving our bill up and up and away. Yes, us too. And actually, what I just realized... What do we realized, spend? Like $2,500 every six months? Yeah, it's a little bit more than that. Um, $3,000 every six months? Well, it's supposed to be 3000 but it's or supposed to be over 3000 but it's like 2600 with discounts. But we have a, a different policy that's also uh, related that I realized has increased some because the kids are driving, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so here's the thing, guys. But our, they pay it. Yeah, our teenagers pay their portion of the bill. So don't think that we're just, we pay for their car insurance until they're out of high school because in Colorado there's no public transportation where we're at for the school. Well, there is for David, but um, BJ and Ellie, the school they were going to, there was no public transportation and I refuse to let my children ride the school bus I think it's dangerous and I don't think that it's something that kids should be doing so that's just my opinion but why because you and I had crazy experiences on yeah. school buses and in our town one of the kids was telling us one day that they were selling the kids drugs were and smoking marijuana at the bus stop yeah and even though this is Colorado it's still not legal for kids no so yeah um all right so here's my next batch of unicorns woohoo loving 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 it what do you guys think did i do a good job oh heather says just saw your announcement please rest if you need to you do so much even a healthy person would have a difficulty keeping up thank you actually it's funny is tara had the idea but i was thinking wow it is kind of hard doing all three shows every week but but still Jeannie do you have do you guys have Jellystone campgrounds near you there are lots of activities along with the pool for the kids our there grandchildren love camping there Jellystone some, some I have don't cabins. know what Jellystone there's is. one on the way to Estes Park right across oh, from that women's shelter or whatever yeah oh okay I didn't know that's what that was huh you know I did think we could just rent one of those places and just go up to Estes and actually if we were at the camp place it might be relaxing then we could go up to our usual resting spot in the day if we want to. Yeah. Um, Cassidy says, my worst memories of school were from the bus and the nasty things kids did in the back of the bus. Yeah. Yes. The things they did was... was well, with no adult yeah. supervision, that's the thing I was noticing. So I'm not criticizing you if you put your kids on the bus. I'm just saying I don't think it's smart. <laughs> Sorry. But, yeah. So... <laughs> Lana says, that's my rule about the phone, too, and my end... My friends think I'm crazy. Actually, it's funny because we have a lot of people that we know who say, I just can't, I can't keep my kids under control. I don't know what the problem is. And they won't even let me look at what they're doing on their phones. I'm uh, like, no. <laughs> I'm thinking, they won't let you? <laughs> Who's the parent? Sorry, if you're that parent. Yeah. No. It's time to get real. You better have full access to your child's phone. And if you don't, the phone is taken away. Our rule on no. computers and phones is everything is. No. We have access and can get on anytime we want. 
and and oversee that stuff. But and if they want to be on Facebook, they have to be a friend with us on Facebook. But what gets me is well, and even then, we we have to be able to log in their Facebook if we want to. Um, kombucha made me g want to go to the hospital sick. So. I know a lot of people love kombucha and fermented foods and all that stuff, but it does not help everyone. And I am one of those people made me horridly sick. So I stay as far away from that stuff as possible. So I do have a mold allergy and I'm sure that's why um, I have uh, a problem with it. Chris, we haven't seen a lot of, we haven't. We're having trouble with comments anyway tonight, but we haven't seen a lot of the comments you're referring to at this point. I'm still looking through comments, but because of how many people are here, it's hard to see everybody's comments and respond to them all, so sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, looking to see. Do, 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 do. Those are so cute. Love the unicorn soap. Oh, it's Heather. Thank you. I asked her. I, I didn't see if you guys are going on tonight. Where are you guys going on tonight? I'll have to look and do a search here because it's National Mimosa Day today. Okay, oh, I have happy. mimosa soap. I have mimosa soap in my thing. What? I have no idea what mimosa is, but... <laughs> Cigar Box said, I told my family if I'm on life support that they should unplug it, count to 10, and plug it back in because it worked with my computer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's funny. Uh, yeah. I oh, I just I got that joke. Is. I saw it a while ago. That's funny. Do you know what that is? What? I don't know what she's talking about. I have no idea. Okay. Um, yeah. Galena says, I have an invisible illness too. Hard for others to understand beyond my young, fresh face. A lot of people are talking about that. So, um, Sharon said Seaside, Oregon. I think she's talking about places yeah, to go. Yeah, although I was wondering if Oregon would be too cold. Okay, so here's what it looks like, guys. The yummy liciousness right there. Ooh, that actually looks good. <laughs> Thanks, oh. Dave. Wow, that looks really good. Um, Sharon is wondering what happens when the soap fails. Um, when the soap fails, I'm just gonna keep it in the oven to keep warm until we're done. When the soap fails, I um, either rebatch it by making it hot process, which sometimes you can do that, depending on depending on why it failed. So my unicorn soap that just failed, I used 38% water instead of 33. And what happened was it was too moist and it's not getting hard. So I have to let it dry out for probably six or eight weeks and then they should be fine. Um, the, when they fail, like if I get too much lye in them accidentally, then I shred it and I make laundry soap out of it. Uh, so did they say any, oh wait, did you say you had GERD or is that somebody else? I have, I had, <sighs> Reflux, oh. yes, and I didn't know that I had it. Jenny's and I asking, went to the doctor. Say anything about Tums or calcium tablets? He said no. Don't take no. Uh uh. He said not to take those. Yeah. Okay. Um. Chris said, "Going to get your back adjusted? Would that help?" But no. She also says, "Get noodles, Chinese therapy." And I was thinking, like ramen. <laughs> Just kidding. Um. Actually, she does go in and get. Uh, yeah, I get chiropractic She gets back adjusted every, and she gets yeah. massages. Um, every month. So. Yeah, I get a massage. We found a cheap massage lady for 40 bucks. So I go in once a week now, which has helped tremendously. But it still hasn't made my headaches go away. I've tried everything to make my headaches go away and they're just not going away. I'm off milk now. And I'm going off sugar now. Oh, can I tell them my tea I found about how to make me some tea? Uh, sure. <gasps> so I've just been really missing my tea for the last, what has it been, three months or three weeks or a month, somewhere around there. And I wanted some blackberry tea, but you can't find blackberry tea very well, and it's really expensive. And I was going to order it from one place, and it was two fifty for the tea and $8 for shipping. I was like, forget that. So, <clears throat> um, I got some jelly Oh, really? Some blackberry jelly that's sugar-free Jack blackberry jelly, and I heated some water, and it tastes just like blackberry tea. That's awesome. It actually worked. Wow. Wait, was so, I supposed to put an Etsy link in at some point? I didn't. For my soaps. Oh, oops. Did you call for it? 
I just totally Probably it. not. Sorry, I just forgot because I was looking at that. Yeah, we got, so my neighbor came over. She's been doing all my wrapping and shipping. I'm getting her on shipping and everything. And we got a ton of soaps wrapped and are in my store. So yay, super happy. Sorry guys, I didn't put any links in lately because I've been <laughs> trying to grab the comments. Yeah. Um, did, oh, you answered, did you answer what happens when soap fails? Yeah, make okay. laundry soap out of it usually. Oh, okay. Uh, Music Mad said that was Brussels or was that Brussels sprouts in the oven along with the chicken? Yes. Yeah. Um, Tina, I think I emailed you. Your order was in the one that failed, but I realized the same day that it had failed. And so I made another batch. So it's only going to be, it's going out on Monday. Your order's going out on Monday. So I'm so sorry for the delay. Did not mean to. It's just one of those. That's. That's the problem with part of this, guys, is you guys want to buy it right away. I totally get it. And so I put it for sale right away. But then if I have a batch fail, then you guys have already ordered. Then I either have to make another batch really quick or I have to give everybody a refund, which is fine. But it's just kind of a, what do I say, a balancing act between people really, really wanting to order and making sure that it's done right, so. Eddie's mama says, I have, she lists a, uh, a number of things, uh, and she says, uh, RAOA fibro, fibro spiral stenosis, spinal stenosis and some other things. She says, I think I do a good job hiding my pain, but my husband always knows, he says my voice changes and he sends me to bed. Yeah. Gentle hugs to you. I think, yeah. I don't know always, but I, I can tell a lot before most people would know, can't I? Um, Tiger, what do I wrap my soaps in shrink wrap? I just did a video on that actually a couple days ago on my how to make soap channel. Can you put the link for that in there? Uh, I have to get to the channel, here. but yes. Make a new one. I will, but I, I already have a link down here. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, just type it in. And you it told me, oh, oh, you told me it didn't work. Yep. Oh, okay. Here's my soap channel. Wait, so if you type in how to make soap, it'll come up? No, but I mean, it comes up for me. So do the channel. Uh, oops. Michael put the link up here for you. Oh, I've got it right here. <laughs> Where was I sharing that? I don't know. Somebody asked. All right, I'm going to read. Just put it on Facebook and YouTube. Here's my How to Make Soap um, channel. And I don't know, was it like two videos ago or three videos ago? And on my soap nets that you guys were wanting. I sold out of the original batch I had, so I have more on order for those, for those of you guys who are wanting more of those. Um, and it doesn't help my headaches that I had with all the car accidents. I had something like five concussions in two years. And one time I fell and hit my head in the garage too. So that's probably not helping my headaches either, but not much I can do about it. Somebody was asking if they could so. be stress headaches. Oh, I'm sure they are. <laughs> but that's not all, right? Or, but is it, or is it all? I've had stress for 30 years, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was the cause of it. But I mean, I'm just saying that. So Melinda is asking, I'm just now tuning in. Will you be on this Friday? I totally understand you guys need a break. Just not sure if you're starting two days a week this week or not. This week. So we're starting this week. And if you missed that earlier, uh, there's a video that we did yesterday that explains why. But we're going to be going to two days a week. So it's Monday and Wednesday at the same time as before, which is 4.30 p.m. Mountain. So we're changing our schedule for now to two shows a week. Yeah. Monday and Wednesday. So so if you come Friday, we won't be here. But hopefully, I was thinking about trying to put up a little video. Uh, Gigi Ooh, wants to know Karen. what shampoo do you make? Uh, I have a shampoo bar that I make. It's in my Etsy store. Karen, thank you for ordering. And you can order the shampoo bar. I still have some in stock. Well, I did before the show. So I'm going to reshare the Etsy link where all so, that is. Oops. Yeah. Ooh, Karen, your shampoo bar is fabulous. Did you see that? I did. She said fabulous. My hair is so soft. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Karen. Uh, wow. Okay, so we had some other things here in the other comments. It's goat's milk and shea butter is what's in my shampoo bar, so... Aw, uh, Natalie says, I love you guys. You're so cute together. <laughs> Aww, we go together like peas like and pe carrots. Oh, I thought you were going to say like peaches and Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, let's see. Oh, Brenda said, massages 
help, but would love to find something for total relief. I haven't given up, but it's frustrating when people tell you, use this, use this, nothing works for everyone, sadly. One thing we discovered is if people say, oh, this cures everything, it'll cure you, it's not going to cure you. Well, and I did try Moringa. All my homestead friends swear by Moringa. It's helped them greatly, and I did try it, but that did not help. I, so, yeah... So Holly said, when you were discussing vacation, we have nine children and could not afford vacations. So we saved and were able to purchase a used cheap camper that actually fits our whole family. We now camp at lakes in our area quite often and the kids love it. I would love to do that, but we don't have a place to store the camper. So. But for right now, we live close enough to the Rocky Mountain National mm -hmm. Park that we go to a spot that's kind of like camping, mm -hmm. usually all day. Uh, <coughs> Rosemary said, dinner and soap in under one hour. I couldn't do that. You're amazing, Tara. Thank you. Um, Jan says, my soap just shipped and I still have to order more. <laughs> Thank you guys for supporting me and ordering my soap. I like, um, I like making it as a hobby. And so that's why I do it. And I need to sell it. Otherwise my grand, great, great grandkids will have it. Um, if you have psoriasis or some eczema or something like that, Get my goat's milk and shea butter shampoo bar. I'm out of the regular bars, but it's the same bar. It is. So um, get the shampoo bar, and it will work for that pretty well. My, my brother and son have that um, in it. No, whoever asked, I do not drink any artificial sweeteners, no NutraSweet, no MSG, no carrageenan. No nitrates. All of that is cut out of my diet. I am currently eating for my diet an egg and a piece of toast for breakfast, chicken, vegetables, and chicken broth for the rest of my meals. That's all I'm eating currently and have been eating for the last week and a half. So I've done an elimin I'm doing an elimination diet to get rid of everything. The toast oh. is gluten free, dairy free, everything free. Did you already answer what shampoo do you make? Do yes, you I make that? a goat's milk and shea butter shampoo bar. Okay. And shampoo one last thing, for all the people who keep saying, why are your shows so long? We don't get that many people asking, do we? You don't look at the comments. But it's not, it's only a small percentage of the total though, right? Sorry guys, that name Yeah, but I get at least a couple of comments a day. Okay, so for those people, let me just explain. If you've made it this long, you probably haven't made it this long, so I need to just do another video anyway. But here's the thing. YouTube is bonus material. YouTube is not where we make the majority of our income. We make the majority of our income off of Facebook and people coming to the website from Facebook buying our books and stuff. We only put the videos on YouTube as a bonus for people who want to see them. So for those of you who keep telling me, I wish you would do shorter videos. Why are your videos so long? Here, this is the one I love. I don't watch your videos anymore because I'm afraid I'm going to miss something so I don't watch it all. What? Yeah, I get that almost every day. What? So <laughs> You're going to miss something you don't watch at all. <laughs> so here's the thing. Our recipes are at the beginning. Just watch our recipes at the beginning if you want. We just chit chat with everybody else just to have a nice chit chatty kind of fun time. And so um, YouTube is not our main, is not our main social media. It's not our main way we bring people in, that kind of thing. It is just a bonus deal. So we're just kind of doing you guys a favor by putting it on YouTube to watch later. Secondly, you don't have to watch the whole video. Like I said, the recipes are always at the beginning. We chit chat later, do that. Third thing, doing short five to 20 minute videos takes us four, no less than four hours, up to eight hours, and sometimes even as long as 10 to 12 hours, depending on the kind of video. You know those cute little cutesy videos you see on Facebook? It takes them 10 to 12 hours to shoot and edit all those cooking videos. We do not have time to do that. So we have chosen to just do the hour long live shows and do what we can. But if we were to make a video to do that every day or even twice a week, we could not get anything else done for the business. So 
that's the whole spiel on why the YouTube videos are so long. Well, but the other thing is, even though we get a couple comments every day, there are thousands of people that watch each show. So we're, so the majority of the people like it longer, right? I have no idea. And the, the thing about being longer is know. you don't have to watch it all. So you can check yeah. in for the part that you want to watch and then check out. We're happy with that. Yeah. So you, then the people that want the longer shows can get them. But if you want the shorter show, you can just join for the And I want. will say our income doubled <laughs> when we went from the short videos to the long videos. So it's working for us. And so I'm really sorry, but yeah. <laughs> Kelly says, must be terrible to be chained to your channel for longer than you want to. <laughs> We're actually not having a problem when we do when we do the longer shows. Um, we don't usually go long unless we're feeling up to it. Well, I say that, but Tara's not feeling up to it. Yeah. Candy. A shampoo bar is not necessarily needed. I have a sample candy because you are one of my best soap buyers. I will send you one. Uh, send House... me an email and I'll remember to send send me an email so I remember to send you a sample. Little House Living is asking if we can share a link for homemade barbecue seasoning. Do we have that on the website? I thought we did in the homemade seasonings. Oh, okay. Let me share the homemade seasonings. I, I think I it think, might be on there. I'm I gonna think it's on there. I'm not positive. I'm going to share the homemade seasonings. And, and just so you know, everybody, if you have missed any link and you want to see it, you can go to livingonadime.com, click on show notes, and all the links that we're sharing are there. Go ahead. Sorry. No, that was um, it. Do we have any information about how we started our business on the website? That's a huge question, Chris, so we probably won't be able to answer it now, but um, do we, we have did stuff? a few videos and we've got some on our website, but I don't know what the names of them are. Um <laughs> I started basically I was on bed rest with my kids. I read the Tightwad Gazette while I was pregnant because I had nothing better to do. Got on some chat rooms for pregnant moms kept giving advice on how to save money and said, well, I'm going to write a cookbook because Amy Decision and the Taiwan Gazette didn't want to do it and everyone kept asking her to do it. I saw a need that needed to be fulfilled, so I decided to fulfill it. Took me two years to write it, got a website going, took us 15 years before we made a full-time income from it, took us 18 years until we made a really good full-time income from it. So this was not a short, easy process for us. Um, we did start literally when the internet was a baby 20 years ago. I mean, most people didn't Google even know wasn't, what the Google, internet, yeah. Most people didn't even know what the internet was mm -hmm. when we started. And Google wasn't even around. It was, <laughs> what was that, what, what was that search engine? So the main search engine, tell, tell me if any of you remember this. What was the, it? The biggest main search engine in those days was called Hotbot. Oh yeah. Hotbot. Yeah. And I don't think anyone remembers Hotbot now. Yeah. <laughs> Google was Google didn't come out till we'd been around for ten years probably, right? Yeah. That's amazing. You know they're huge. Um, so, tons and tons of people saying, "Love long shows. This is my relaxing time. Um, go well, on as long I as you want." Well, I figure if people will sit down and watch Oprah for an hour, they can sit down and watch us. Yeah. Sure. Go on as long as you want. Karen says, love the long shows. I feel like I'm visiting with friends. Oh, It's thanks. funny because I was just talking to Jonathan today and I said, the, the only thing about cutting back the one is, I do feel like we're visiting with friends and, and that. But most people aren't here every show. Um, but yeah, I feel the same way. I, I look forward to that part. The work part is really hard, but when we're actually doing the show, it's pretty awesome. Yes. Um, sorry, there was something else I thought. Is there any foods I don't like? Yes. Um, Mike doesn't like tomatoes, he doesn't like and eggs, she, he doesn't like fish. And peanuts. And peanuts. What don't I like? People. You don't like action movies. <laughs> but that's not a food. <laughs> I like almost, I'll eat almost any food. I can't really think of any food I don't like. I've never tried sardines. But, I don't know. Oh, Rosalie says we're better than Oprah. Thanks. <laughs> um, oh, you want you want to taste this? You've never heard of hot butt. Yeah, I don't know if hot butt. I think I one time recently went to the link to see if something was there, and I think it redirected to one of the other search engines that's still around. So That's anyway, 
Well. Okay, they wanted a taste test, so I'll have you do a taste Amanda test. Amanda said I was 13. <laughs> oh, yes, Suburbia to Singapore said there was Alta Vista, too. That was another yeah, search that was another engine one. we used a lot. What is this? Oh, the chicken? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. 10 out of 10. Mmm, 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 mmm. I was expecting that to be the Brussels sprout. This is the Brussels sprout. Uh-oh. Does Mike eat Brussels sprouts? Yes, you love Mike. You love Brussels sprouts. Mmm. I hate Brussels sprouts. I haven't tried them. Really good. Sprouts. That's hot. Woo! <laughs> I hate Brussels sprouts, mm. but I haven't tried them. So Juju was asking which soaps Karen uses from us. It's the Goat's Milk and Shea Butter Shampoo Bar. Nice. Um, so, green yeah. I'm sure it tastes cool. Healthy. Well, let's see. I, I we could keep answering questions, but you're probably okay. going down. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you for visiting us. Visiting with us. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Don't forget our extravaganza is on sale for ten dollars until Monday. We will what? be back off with Monday's show. What, what? We won't be on Friday, so don't forget. No show on Friday. Thank you for understanding and. Like, subscribe, and share, and we will give us a thumbs up, and we will see you guys next time. And if you're looking for something else right now, our friends going batty are on oh, already live. Go check out our on friends on YouTube. I shared that link and on YouTube and Facebook. I'm sharing it again, and I will put it in the show notes in just a minute in case you missed it. Yep. So have an awesome night. Bye, guys. We'll see you later, day Bye. or morning if you're down under. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. See you Monday. Stop,